Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And guys, look, there was some big, massive physical media news today. We knew it was coming. Second Sight, they hinted that this was coming, but the Hitcher 4K box set has been announced. Finally, it's official. We've got, we've got images. We've got detailed breakdowns and specs and special features and the whole thing. We have a release date. We have pre-orders up. I, I, we've got a lot to get into. I had to get on here and make this special video. I rushed, rushed home from work, put my life on the line to get home and be able to film and put out this video. Unfortunately, guys, look, I, I work during the week now. I work during the day. I didn't used to. I, I would have been able to make a video earlier, but this is getting out a little bit later. I apologize. Hopefully, because look, I pre-ordered this thing at like 8.30 this morning on Diabolic DVD, which that is an option. I will put all the pre-order options down below. I'm hoping this hasn't sold out. Hopefully, Second Sight had the good sense to produce as many of these things as they possibly could have because they have to know this thing is going to sell like hotcakes. So hopefully, they got plenty limited edition box sets uh, for everybody with the Hitcher on 4K, and we're not going to have to worry about it selling out, at least anytime within the first like week or two. So I will leave all the links down below, guys. But you are going to want to order this thing as soon as possible. I, I, I'm not trying to push FOMO on everybody, but you're going to want to order this as soon as possible. I just the feeling that I have, just the reaction that everybody's had uh, since this has been announced. It's it's big. People are excited for this. They're going to scoop this thing up um, as soon as possible. So let me make this image a little bit bigger, guys, and then we'll get into the uh, the Hitcher box sets if I if I can remember how to do that. OK, let me let me put myself down at the bottom. Um, OK, so this is the uh, Second Sight Films website. And guys, look, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, yeah, we, we cover physical media on this channel. I do all kinds of late breaking news announcements. I do physical media report breakdowns every single Monday, just covering everything, what's coming out this week and all kinds of that stuff. We do reviews, all, all kinds of physical media content on this channel. Hit the subscribe button and then I uh, hit the like button and then comment down below, guys, who's excited? For the hit you're on 4K. Are you excited? We've been waiting for this thing. It feels like three years now since Second Sight first announced that they were working um, the, on the hit you're on 4K. But guys, we're not just talking about the hit you're on 4K. I do have something else that we're going to talk about after the hit you because there was some news that dropped yesterday. So we'll get to that. Uh, but let's let's dive into what we're all here for. The hit you're on 4K from Second Sight Films. The release date, guys, is September the 30th. And right here, we're looking at all the different options on the Second Sight website. We'll go into the full breakdown here in a second. We have the limited edition box set uh, with a 200-page booklet and just all the stuff, all the fixings in the Hitcher box set. Uh, we have a regular 4K release. If you decide, hey, I don't need all that extra fluff. I, I don't. I, I just need the disc and the special features, and I'm good. You can get that. You can get just the regular case. It's no slipcover. It is just a 4K case with everything you need inside. Or, or maybe you just don't care about the, the 4K. Maybe you think Blu-ray is fine, but you want all those special features. You can get a Blu-ray of the Hitcher as well. Um, so whatever your, your taste, uh, you know, for the Hitcher on 4K or Blu-ray, you, you have your pick. You have your pick right here. And 2729, guys, now if you live in the United States, um, it's going to be a little bit more expensive to import, but I'm going to show you how you don't have to import. You can order from Diabolic or Orbit or, or Grindhouse if you want to, if you live in the States and you don't have to pay the, the, uh, the import costs, but 27, 29, like that's a really good price. Like, especially like for everything that's in this release, 27, 29 for the Hitcher on 4k. Like if you're just getting that regular standard 4k, that is not a bad price at all, but Let's jump into this uh, this box set. I'm going to show you a close-up image of it. Right there, you got Rucker Hauer on the front with the shotgun, just looking freaking awesome. I'll be honest, like I tried to visualize what this box set was going to look like, and it did not look like this. But I think that this is a really great design. I think it looks awesome. I think it's going to stand out on the shelf next to the other second sites for sure. And I really dig it. I really dig uh, the colors that are used here uh, with the orange and the blue, the skyline and stuff. I think it's really cool because I almost thought they were going to go more like, you know, darkish blue like the original poster is. 
uh, which I've gotten in the background of this of this video. Um, I thought they were going to go more that route. And I've already got the Umbrella Edition, and I didn't want it to look exactly like the Umbrella Edition because the Umbrella Edition looks like that. So I'm glad they went with something different. I think it looks cool. I am a fan um, of this artwork. So in Rucker Howard, man, that it, it just looks awesome. It just looks awesome. Uh, but let's let's scroll down, and we'll show you the next image right here. Uh, you do have the booklets. It looks like you have two booklets here. Uh, so this thing is going to be this going to be a little chunky. This thing's going to be a little chunky. It's going to be a little chunky, boy. Um, now, I don't know the extents of the chunk. Is this going to be a drive chunk situation? I, I feel like this one's going to be more the guest, maybe, because um, that was a pretty chunky edition. But you do have a full booklet right there. Um, if I can zoom in right here of the hit share, we'll get into what that is here in a second. And then you got um, another book right there that says the screenplay. So you have the screenplay right there. You got some art cards at the bottom. I can't get it to, to keep from doing that. It zooms in automatically every time. Uh, then you got another look at all the art cards right there as well. And this thing on the Second Side website, if you want the Chunky Box Edition, is going to be $54.59. Uh, so really cool box set. It looks it looks pretty big. I'm trying to... I don't know what exactly it would... I wish I brought some of my Second Side Editions over here. It may be... It may honestly be pretty comparable to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, now that I'm thinking about it. A little bit bigger than the guest, um, but I think it's going to be comparable to to, um, to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I, I think it's going to be bigger than Possessor and Green Room. It's, I think it's going to be Texas Chainsaw. That's what it's going to be. Sorry, guys. I had to figure that out in my head. Um, it, but not as big as Drive. It does not look as big as the uh, Drive 4K box set. All right, let's let's get into the special features here. Guys, look, The Hitcher, it's an iconic film, uh, you know, from, I, I believe, 1987. You got Rucker Howard, C. Thomas Howell, Jennifer Jason Lee. I have a confession to make. I watched this film for the first time with the Umbrella release. I had never seen The Hitcher. I'd seen the remake like a long time ago, but I'd never seen the original Hitcher. Um, really good movie. Really good movie. Um, so I am excited to see the movie on, on 4K for sure. And um, yeah, it's definitely iconic. It's one that people have lots of fond memories of. I didn't grow up with it, so I don't think it hit me the exact same way. I did really enjoy it. Um, I think with the, uh, you know, the desert setting and all the scenery and all that stuff, it's really going to make for a spectacular, uh, I can't even talk anymore, guys, spectacular uh, 4K edition. Uh, let's, let's scroll down here. Special features. We got a dual format edition, including both UHD and Blu-ray with main feature and bonus features on both discs. So what that means is that you are going to have the special features. And this is the usually the case with Second Sight. They put their features on the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc. So you're going to have the exact same features on that 4K um, as the Blu-ray. Now, the Blu-ray will be region locked. The Blu-ray will be region locked. At least I think. I, actually, you know what? Back that up because I think I heard... Um, and we'll, we'll find out here in a second. Let me, let me scroll to the bottom. Y yes, actually the Blu-ray in this one is region free. So they are both region free for this. We got the uh, 4k, which is for all 4ks are usually region free guys. Um, but the Blu-ray is also region free. So you're not going to have to worry about that. You'll be able to play the Blu-ray as well on your regular, uh, Blu-ray player or 4k player. So that, that is actually pretty cool. Um, you got a new a 4K restoration by Second Sight Films from the original camera negative, supervised and approved by director Robert Harmon. Uh, so you actually have the director that did the, uh, the, the supervision of the restoration. We also have that UHD presented in HDR with Dolby Vision. So that is nice to see. We got both HDR and Dolby Vision. And we've got Dolby Atmos on this as well. Super freaking cool. Original stereo audio mixes as well. So this thing is stacked, guys, already with the technical specs. Like, they just put so much work into this, and it, it is very cool to see. Uh, we got a new audio commentary with Alexandra Heller-Nicholas. She is in everything, I swear. Every time I'm talking about a new uh, big box set physical release, like, she is on it, or Criterion, or, or whatever. She's always on it, uh, but uh, nice to see her get another audio commentary. We also got an audio commentary with the uh, director and the writer, Eric Red. That looks like it's a older past commentary. We have scene-specific audio commentary with Robert Harmon, Eric Red, 
Um, executive producer, Edward S. Feldman, composer, Mark Isham, director of photography, John Seal, and actors, Ruckert Howard, C. Thomas Howell. So that's a stacked uh, commentary right there, but I imagine that's an older commentary. We got the Projection Booth podcast featuring Robert Harmon and Rucker Howard. So we got an entire podcast on there with the uh, the director and Rucker Howard. Um, we've got uh, Bullseye, a new interview with Robert Harmon, which is 41 minutes. That is a 41 minutes interview with the director. Freaking awesome. Uh, we've got uh, Penning the Ripper, a new interview with Eric Red. 41 minutes. So we got you got 41 minutes with the director, 41 minutes with the writer, incredible, and doomed to live. A new interview with C. Thomas Howell. 28 minutes with C. Thomas Howell. The only thing that sucks is unfortunately Rucker Howard is no longer with us, passed away a few years ago. Uh, so we will not be able to have the, him on this release. So that is definitely a shame. Um, but uh, I, I'm trying to look ahead here real quick, guys. I'm not seeing Jennifer Jason Lee. It would have been cool if we got Jennifer Jason Lee on here for sure. Um, we've got, but yeah, C. Thomas Howell, freaking awesome, 28 minutes. The Man from Oz, a new interview with John Seal, 10 minutes. A very formative score, a new interview with Mark Isham, 15 minutes. Uh, we got dual runner Lay Singer on the evolution of the Hitcher and Rucker Howard, 20 minutes. Um, you got China Lake, a short film by Robert Harmon, newly restored, 35 minutes. So you got a short film with the director, 35 minute long uh, film that's newly restored. You got the, the calling card, Robert Harmon on China Lake, 15 minutes. Telephone, a short film by Eric Red, 26 minutes. So you got multiple short films on here. You got the Hitcher. How do th these movies get made? 38 minutes. So I don't think any of this stuff that I'm reading at the bottom um, is new because it's not stating that it's new. But we do have one, two, three, four, five brand new interviews. We've got a new audio commentary. We've got what looks to be tons um, of archival features. And I can tell you right now, I don't remember a lot of that archival stuff being on the Umbrella Edition. Um, I, I think there was some some pretty good stuff on there. I, I feel like there was maybe one new thing on the Umbrella Edition. I could be wrong. Um, but there is definitely not all the stuff that's in this set. Like this set is completely stacked. My phone's freaking going crazy, guys. If you guys can hear it, I'm sorry. Um, this thing is stacked freaking awesome. Like this is the release that everybody's been waiting for. Like this is it. So like they had to deliver. I think Second Sight knew they had to deliver. And boy, did they ever with this Hitcher box set. This thing um, is absolutely incredible. We've got, uh, let's get into the limited edition contents. Rigid Slipcase, a new artwork by Adam Stothard. A 200-page hardback book with exclusive Robert Harmon interview by Lou Thomas. Exclusive Eric Red interview by Matthew Thrift. So you've got new essays on here. Uh, by tons of people, archival Fangoria article and behind the scenes photo gallery. So 200 page hardback book, tons of great information on the film. You get Eric Red's original screenplay in here and six collectible um, art cards as well. So guys, this is just an incredible release. Like I said, it is available to pre-order now um, on, um, on, on Second Sight's website, also Diabolic, Orbit, Grindhouse. I will link all of those um, us sites, physical media sites down below in the description, what they basically do, they'll import this stuff for you. I pre-ordered the hitcher this morning from diabolic. It's 54 99 on there. I had to pay $5 shipping and then tax. I think it came out to about 63 50 or something like that. So that's what it, that's what the cost ends up being. If you're in the States. Now, if you're in the UK, of course, you're probably just going to order from the second side website. It's it's a good price on there, and you don't have to pay all the import costs. So, um, but guys, this is it's a it's amazing. Are you excited for the hitcher? Like, let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to think. Did I go over all the details? I want to be sure I, I do this release justice, give it the proper coverage uh, that it deserves. But again, I will leave all the uh, the pre order links down below in the description. Let's get into the next bit of news. Um, let's get into the next bit of news. So this apparently came out yesterday and I did a video, I think about two months ago, talking about Godzilla minus one. When is it coming to physical media? I will say this is not what I was talking about necessarily. This is pretty much the same release that came out in Japan, but they are making it available to order in the States, which I think you could order that other release as well in the States, but this will be available. This will, you, you can watch this one. You can watch this one because it will have, um, English subtitles on it. So 
this is pretty much the same box set. Now, this is this is not available at any uh, major retailers or anything like that. It's not on Amazon. It's not on Diabolic. It's not on any of those sites, at least as far as I know. As far as I know, this is a Godzilla.com exclusive. So I, I, I'd never heard of Godzilla.com before today. Um, I didn't know there was a Godzilla.com. I should have figured there was. So, I mean, it's Godzilla. Um, but this release is on Godzilla.com. I will link that down below as well. And it is going for $65 if, you, if you're in the States. And it's going to be available. It's an estimated ship date of September 2024. Now, what I will say, and we're going to go through the contents of this release here in a second, is this is not necessarily what I was talking about when I was talking about I think that Minus One will get a U.S. release sometime in the fall. I think that's what I stated in my video. I think it's still going to get a regular release in the States, um, a 4K edition probably, a Blu-ray edition probably at some points, maybe September, October, November, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, but this is that deluxe box set that Japan got uh, a few months back. You can get it in the States now if you uh, if you would like to get that. But I do I don't think this is going to be the only opportunity for people in the U.S. to get Godzilla minus one. I think that is still coming. Um, but if you cannot wait and you want this nice premium edition, you can order this now. So I just wanted to make sure everybody now who's going to put it out in the States. I really don't know. Uh, because people Funimation put out a lot of the Toho Godzilla stuff in the past. And somebody commented on my uh, previous video that Funimation no longer makes physical media, no longer makes Blu-rays and 4K. So I, I have no idea who's going to put this out at this point. Um, if you have any insight, definitely, definitely let me know in the uh, in the comments section. But yeah, I definitely wanted to, to kind of lump this in with the Hitcher because it was also ex exciting physical media news. And it's also something that may go out of print. So I thought about saving this for the physical media report on Monday, but I don't want it to sell out and I didn't get to tell you guys. So that's why I'm including it um, in this video. But let's let's scroll down, guys. This thing is a four disc set, $65. Like I said, guys, $65. That is pretty steep. That's $10 more than the Hitcher. Uh, but it's a four disc set. You got uh, on disc one, you got Godzilla minus one 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Um, with a hundred gigabyte disc. So that's awesome. You got a hundred gigabyte disc here. It is a 125 minutes. You have a Japanese Dolby Atmos. You have Japanese 5.1. Um, so all this stuff and you have Japanese subtitles and you have English subtitles. So, but what I'm seeing here and I'm not seeing it anywhere else on any of these other discs, there is no English dubbing on here. I, at least I'm not seeing it. I I'm, I'm trying to look right now and I looked a little bit earlier I'm not seeing English dub on here. Now, Netflix has Godzilla Minus One right now, and that has an English dub option. There is not, at least from what I'm seeing, I'm trying to look again, guys. <laughs> I'm not seeing any English dub here, but I am seeing English subtitles. So you'll still be able to watch it. To be honest, like, I don't, I don't really, I, I don't like watching dubbed movies. Like, I'd rather just read than listen to the voices not match up with what's coming out of their mouth. That's just me personally, but... I know some people are different and they they like the dub and but this release will not have that. You will still have to read the subtitles, but at least you will still be able to uh, read the subtitles. Um, so you you got a number of special features here. It doesn't look like it's super packed with special features or anything, uh, but there is some stuff on here to dig into: trailers, TV spots, uh, six second bumper, IMAX PR video, some some stuff to dig into for sure. Uh, but the second disc is Godzilla minus one Blu-ray. The first disc was the 4K, and the third disc is Godzilla minus one minus color. So that's the black and white version on Blu-ray. It doesn't look like it's available on 4K. So you're not going to get Godzilla minus one minus color on 4K, and that's kind of a shame because it would look excellent in 4K because black and white usually does. Um, but Godzilla minus one minus color is on Blu-ray in this set. And then the fourth, okay, well, I spoke too soon because it, look like, it looks like the fourth disc is bonus features, Blu-ray uh, bonus features, but they're all in Japanese language only. So hopefully there's, okay, no, I'm looking down here. Uh, subtitles, note, no English subtitles uh, with the bonus features. So that's that kind of sucks. You got a making of, you got VF, VFX making of, release commemorative special program behind the scenes movie, Godzilla Minus One. 
Um, and then you got all kinds of world premieres, red carpet events, Tokyo. So event footage, basically, of where this thing was premiered and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. I imagine you won't need subtitles for that kind of stuff. Like you could just watch that and see the movie premiere and see the audience reaction and things like that. But um, that that is that kind of sucks. So you can't watch the making ofs and some of the other features with English subtitles and it's Japanese language only. So. That is that that's kind of that kind of stinks. I'll be honest, but at least look the movie. You can get it physical media in the U.S. with English subtitles. And this is the first time that that has been available beyond a bootleg release of some kind. So that is definitely uh, cool and, and worth noting for sure. And look at this packaging, guys. It is freaking incredible packaging. Like it, it's just incredible packaging. Um, for this release right here, it's absolutely stunning, beautiful. Um, again, like I said, I'm personally like I'm holding out for the States release, you know, hopefully a nice steel book of some kind, a nice package release of some kind in the States at some point this October, November. So I'm going to hold out for that. But like, if you want this set, it's available again on godzilla.com with four discs and the, uh, the movie has English subtitles. So you'll be able to enjoy it. So that guys, that's the video though. Godzilla minus one release. And we've got the hitcher finally, finally getting a 4k release from seconds. I, I I'm so excited. I knew this day was going to come eventually. Um, there were some naysayers out there who said it may, it may never happen. It has happened. Second site delivers. They take their time. That's the thing about second site. They always deliver quality. They are not afraid to take their time to delay stuff that they have to. Um, they do it right. Like that, you can't say they don't do it right. Like that second site does it right every time. It's going to take them some time to get it done, but but they get it right. So you have to admire them for that. So, but that's the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, all the links for everything I talked about in today's video will be down below in the description. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.